Hey what's up guys, welcome to The Breakdown. Today we're going to show you guys how to sharpen an image in Photoshop. So it's a really simple process. What I recommend doing is making a duplicate layer of your image, first of all, uh, which you would do by clicking on the layer and hitting Command J on your keyboard. I've already done that so I'm not going to do it again. But then what you need to do is right click and convert this to a smart object, which you can do by right clicking and hit convert to smart object. The next thing you need to do is go up to filter and then go to sharpen. Once you're here, go to unsharp mask and this is where we can sharpen the image. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up here and for the amount I typically have found that the best results come between 120 and 130. Uh, so for this I'll try right in the middle, 125 and then for radius somewhere in the range of 0.5 to 0.8. Uh, so for this I'll try 0.8. See how that looks, and as you can see when we turn preview off, turn preview on, uh, it brings a lot more detail back into the picture, makes things look a lot more crisp, and additionally it just brings so much more life back into your pictures. Now I do want to mention that if you make the amount too high, it's going to make the image look a little too overwhelming on your eyes, uh, and if you also do too little, it's going to look a little blurry depending on how low you go, uh, so I'm just going to set this to 120. Uh, and for radius, this is essentially how crisp you want these pixels to be. Uh, it's a little difficult to explain simply, but as you can see, uh, it gives you a really cartoony effect when you bump it up way too high. As you can see, we can take it to 100 and we just lose all of the detail in the pixels. So we'll just set this back to 0.8 and then click OK. And now because we made this a smart object, you can go ahead and uh, hide it. Uh, but as well, you can also edit it because we made it a smart object. Uh, we didn't do anything that's going to destroy the layer. Anyway, guys, that is how you sharpen an image in Photoshop. There are more complex and more complicated ways to do it, but this is a way that I have found that yields really good results and makes the image look really good and crisp and full of detail. Nevertheless, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and comment down below with more Photoshop tutorials that you would like to see on the channel. Additionally, subscribe to the channel for more content like this and other content across the entire horizon of content production. Thanks for watching this video guys and I will see you next time.